Hello and welcome to another edition of Stockwatch. So as we get into the final day of the trading week, it's supposedly the biggest shopping day of the year. That's right, Black Friday is finally upon us. And it obviously doesn't now stop at one day, it carries on through to the whole weekend. But regardless, it is to kick off the biggest shopping weekend of the year. And supposedly Amazon and Walmart, these companies alike are looking to increase revenues. If you um, saw that Walmart from 2013 has been the biggest company in the world, not only in America, but in the world for the largest revenue. And also Amazon is uh, just cl following closely behind uh, that status symbol as well. But it might all not be plain sailing for Amazon this time around as uh, pl employees in over 20 countries are planning strikes across uh, the companies and this could halt uh, production and install processes uh, for the day so we'll see if that comes into fruition if you remember a few months ago in the state of Alabama in America we saw that uh, Amazon did stop uh, trade unions uh, well workers creating a union so that they'll have less rights so we'll see if that comes into fruition there's a a company called Make Amazon Pay, sorry, a group called Make Amazon Pay that have said Amazon takes too much and gives back too little. So this has been backed by trade unions and labor groups as well. And the company has also been accused of taking this anti-union stance uh, for the last few years as well. So we we'll see if that has any detrimental impact on Amazon as we look, as I said, to probably the biggest shopping day of the year. Amazon are always advertising that they're doing the best deals and getting the best value for money for its consumers and customers as well. So, you know, Amazon in the last few trading sessions, we've seen this ascending channel uh, to the upside and we've seen new fresh highs being hit. But then we've seen another push down to the downside here below the 3500 mark which is quite significant because you know if it does keep falling the cloud using the Ichimoku cloud here the cloud is pretty thin at the moment so there is this impetus that it could actually pierce the the cloud quite significantly and in turn that could see another move to the downside so we'll see if that comes into fruition in the next few trading sessions um, especially today as I said it would be very very interesting to keep an eye on all these kind of stocks not just Amazon or Walmart but the big retailers as well across the globe to see if there's any form of a move to the downside let's just move these things for you here one moment and so looking on the four hour chart as well, as you can see, we are really trading above the Ichimoku cloud here. Oh, that was a bit of a skew if um, trading signal there. So at the moment, you know, we've had this bit of a come down in the last few trading sessions, but now we're looking to see a bit of a sideways pattern until the American market opens. Obviously, Thanksgiving was yesterday, so we did have a bit of a slow um, market yesterday. And now we're looking to see if there's going to be any more impetus to the upside. But as I said, you know, we are looking to see these fresh highs in the next few trading sessions, roughly trying to peak up to 3,800, which will be quite significant as well. So We'll see if that comes into fruition and just a quick look on walmart as well picked out walmart today as i said they want to keep this uh, first place as the world's biggest uh, revenue retailer so again we'll see what happens in that respect as you can see the last few training sessions we've seen this choppy action here very high choppy markets but as you can see we're looking at the moment um, at this cloud engulfment that has been broken out and now we are looking at more levels to the upside roughly above the 150 area which will be quite significant because then we'll see another push to recent fresh highs and that could be very very challenging for a lot of the other retailers in the market as well to keep up with this pace but you know as i said the biggest shopping day of the year we cannot overlook anything at the moment and as we go into the holiday season in america as well it will be quite significant looking at the for our chart, the intraday, we're looking to see that the prices and candlesticks have been fully engulfed in the cloud, which means that we could see a bit more of a sideways action for now uh, until we see another push to the upside where the cloud becomes a little bit thinner in this kind of area. So it'll be a little bit more difficult for prices to really uh, get past this particular area and uh, we'll keep an eye out on the rest of the shopping day if it does as i said and by monday look out for large gaps in the market as well because it will be when the black friday weekend uh, comes to an end and this will be when we might see big uh, jumps in the stock after they've obviously computed and calculated their profits over the weekend as well so just a few things to look out for in the next few trading sessions so that's all from the stock watch today thank you very much for joining me any comments or queries as usual please feel free to add them to the post and i'll get back to you as soon as possible have a great trading day ahead and a great weekend ahead and bye for now